Little gold graph, yeah. Gold graph. And we were down 7k gold. We were down 70k, 7k gold. And my team thinks it's unwinnable. Right here, somewhere right here is where we started winning fights. We were down like 6 or 5k gold and we were still winning fights. Because Tinkom Diff is just this massive. Oriana looking funny strong. If I didn't press no, we'd surrender this game. Now, Rihanna is really strong, it's just her early game can be weak. LeBlanc is a hard matchup. Thank you, Epikin, for Twitch Pam. Oh, I'm also playing full scaling runes. It's a bit easier if you don't play full scaling runes on Ori. What do you think of this Leandre built on a blank? Um, so, in my opinion, it's like it's really strong early. Like first of all, he still plays fleet and he still plays Kirch Kirche shard, right? The item. So in early game, he's just as strong as the previous AD LeBlanc. So you c like it's hard to lose lane as this LeBlanc. It's just hard. You have to just. You you can't win lane against it. But then the difference is it doesn't buy static anymore, so it goes more into AP LeBlanc. So it relies more on AP spells. So then it's kind of like an AP LeBlanc. But... Yeah, and uh, there's no mana issues because she goes last chapter immediately. First of all, he puts point he puts 3 points into Q, he doesn't alter at max W. And Q points, it doesn't matter, like... W points cost all the mana, Q points don't. So your mana issues are not like... Ma like, mana is not an issue on the blank. And then the moment you get lost chapter, like this, the change doesn't do anything. So it's basically kind of like a mix of where you're playing a bit of AD early, early laning phase, and then you transition into AP. But uh, when the game goes to mid to late game, like AP LeBlanc is still AP LeBlanc. It's the same issue. Like, AP LeBlanc is the same issue. Like, you can't team fight into CC. You're just usually just a poke fly. You can't actually double on top of people. <laughs> 